So we're going to start off with the codified steps of ballet, looking at them anatomically, trying to get an advanced idea of what's actually working to make your body get into these positions and stay there and get warmed up correctly. First position you're in is called first position. You would want to start with your feet turned out to the line of where your hip is actually turned out. We don't want to over rotate and do what we've just seen ballet dancers do. If you do that, over rotating your feet makes your hip crease, makes your butt stick out, and it um, messes the rest of your alignment. Bringing your feet to your natural hip angle, which you can find by standing in six position parallel and turning out from your outward rotators and using your inner thighs to pull in. This will get you in a correct alignment, stomach flat, back open, nice first position. Your arms are on bop. Same goes for second position, you tend you from that hip crease and your arms go to the side as if a water drop could fall from your shoulder off your arms. Tend you over to third position, the arms will lower and the heels touching the big toe of the back foot. Fourth position is up here and this one's really easy to open the hip back here so you want to think square. This hip is coming forward, this one's back, it's still the inner thighs working and the arm is overhead. You could see it if you lifted your eyes. And the other one is side. We'll turn you to fifth. Both arms come up. This is on O position. You should be able to lift your eyes and see your fingers. Here, your heel is touching your other toe. And it's that good position that it's not too turned out that you've seen ballet dancers do. Just be correct in your placement. And it helps you keep everything in and correct where it's supposed to be. Fifth position.